Welcome back everyone, it's Neil here from 3D Tudor, back today with another great geometry node and this time it came from one of our patrons and it was based around curtains so we thought, you know what, that's a great idea, we'll actually create that. So we did, we actually went in and created it. Also guys, there is a free sample available for these curtains as well as we're now updating all of our geometry nodes, that's 30 plus geometry nodes and we're adding a free sample so you can go and download that before actually purchasing them. So first of all, you can see as well, when you actually download this pack, you're going to get a few different curtain types from things like children's to um, ball curtains to a kind of summer curtain, all the way up then to things like um, cinema or uh, theater curtains. And you can see as well that we can have them closed, we can have them um, open like this, and we can also have them more like flags where you can actually create flags as well and I'll show I'll get into all that and show you how that works but the main thing is you can see if I press spacebar we can actually have them unopen um opening in real time so you can see the animation there go in making it really really easy for you and let me tell you you can do this in seconds and it's really really easy to apply this so I'm just going to talk you through that now so first of all let's just put it on object mode let's just put it on to um turn on these two little balls so you can see what I'm doing. And what I'm gonna do then, I'm just gonna move these over to this side, and then I'm only gonna bring in a plane. So shift A, let's bring in a plane, and here is my plane. And then what I'm gonna do is come on over, add in a geometry node, and you'll see that you have two of them. One's curtains, one's top curtains. The one we want for now is gonna be curtains, and you can see as soon as you bring it in, this is what it actually looks like. So now, before we go over to the options, I'll just put it onto our shader view, and you can see now over the right hand side, these are all of the options. So first of all, first of all, let's actually give it a material. So you can give it a material, and you can actually UV unwrap it in real time. So let's click on our, let's go for our red curtain. I think we'll use that one, that'll be the easiest. So red curtain, here we are. Next of all, then we've got the resolution. Now we'll show you on these over here, I've actually applied the geometry node, and the resolution, if I press tab, looks like this on that 60. So you can see it's quite low resolution actually for curtains. So if I come back now to this, that is what 60 looks like. But you will see if I drop this down to something like 30, then it just smooths it out a little bit because it's not able to actually use this noise and this power that we've actually got. So let's put that back on 60. And then what I'll do is I'll show you now the actual wrap. So I can bring these wraps down to something like eight and you'll see all it does is it brings down the amount of folds that you've got. You can just keep turning it up as high as you actually want it or as low as you want it, completely up to you. So you've got control over that. Next of all, then we've got obviously the width. All of this can be controlled within the geometry node itself. And then next of all, we've got the height, which is important obviously to how high your curtains are. Finally then on that part is the actual thickness. Now what this does is this then will pull these curtains out more. So you can see if I start pulling this out, we can pull them out more or less, even of course down to zero and have it completely flat and then bring it up very, very slightly like this. All right, so next of all, then we've got the noise scale. Now what this is going to do, if I put this on object mode, you can see at the moment our curtains are looking pretty flat. The moment though I start turning this up and then turning this button up, you'll see now they start to actually become wavy like so. So you have got power or control over this to make them as wavy or as smooth as you actually like. So let's put them something like this and I think that's looking quite nice to look a bit, you know, jagged and uh, bent as what the curtains should do. They're not looking perfectly straight. Then what I'm going to do is the fold factor. I can bring this now and fold it down right down all the way back or I can pull it back a little bit and what I can do is I can also pull down the uh, fold. So let's go the fold this way. I can actually pull this back this way like so. The other great thing is I can pull it all the way back as far as I want. I can pull it back this far though. And what I can also do is change the width as well. Now the other things about this is the snap height. So whereabouts is this going to come? Let's say if you've got a, um, a let's say a, a piece of rope or something that's going to be holding these back, you want to be able to change this snap height. So what we've done is we've actually included the ability to change this, moving it up and down to where you actually want it. We can also as well change the snap height randomness. So you can see where this snap height is. If I set this to zero, you will see it straightens it all out. But what I can actually do is I can also randomize it a little bit and bend it around now to make it look a little bit more realistic. And then I can also, again, change that height. So you can see now just how good that actually looks. And again, we can pull this back and smooth it out to whatever we want. 
And finally, we've also got a bottom factor because I know that if I pull it, let's say, back to here, that this part here wouldn't probably be draping so much this way. So we've also got the ability to pull that back or pull it this way wherever you want it. You can see lots and lots of thought has been taken into this geometry node. We can also then come and turn up the resolution something like 100. We can then bring back the thickness of this. So let's bring back the thickness a little bit. Turn down the noise a little bit. So let's turn down this noise like so. So let's leave the factor like this and you can see just how easy that is to use. And lastly, lastly, what I want to show you is, so if I'm pulling, let's say we'll pull it out to there. Let's bring this, um, where is it? The fold factor back over to here. Let's bring the snap factor back all the way back to where it was. So something like this. Now what we can also do is we can go to our layout and what I can do now is use my actual timeline. So if I press dot, I can use my time. Let's set this to zero and then, or one, doesn't really matter which, and then we'll come over to our geometry node. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this snap factor then. So you can see I can bring it all the way back to here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it um, at one, two, B zero. So I can set that up. And then let's say at 100, so let's go to frame 100. Let's set now our snap factor. Let's bring it up a little bit like so. And then we'll click on this button here. And now you'll see that we actually have opening curtains like so. Really, really easy to use. You can definitely use this on things like caravans. So you can have the back of the caravan and you can, um, you know, get your curtains in that way. Really, really easy to put around there as well. Now, finally, we've also included some top curtains like so. So if I bring these over, you can see that if I put these, let's uh, change the material and put it on the red. So let's come down, put it on the red curtains like so. And you can see the design to all go together. So if I come to my curtain, bring up that fold factor. So let's bring it back a little bit. And now you can see just how nice these look. Now on these, again, we've got a resolution. We've got the amount of wraps that we can have in between them all the way down to zero, which actually is really handy as you'll see. So let's put it on two for now. Um, and then let's we can change the height, of course. We can drop them down or have them smaller and we can change the thickness and the smoothness. Now, the best thing about these is you can actually use them for flags, let's say, or banners. And that's what we also wanted these to be able to use. So you can see at the moment, these work on a curve. So you can see this is how the curve is. Now, let me show you then in real time how we actually use that. So I'm just going to put it on object mode. I'm going to move these two curtains out of the way over here. And then what I'm going to do is press Shift A and we'll bring in a curve. We'll bring in a path, make it a little bit bigger. And I'm just going to pull it up. And then what I'm going to do is add in a modifier geometry node and bring in our top curtains. And then what I'm going to do is just bring out the height like so. And it's as simple to use as that. The other thing is, of course, we can uh, change our actual wrap. So if I bring this down, you can see that I can have less or I can have more. But of course, the best thing about working with a curve is that we can actually pull this out. So if I just bring it out to here, you will see now that we end up with more of them. We can lift them up and put them against one of our buildings or something like that while still having control of things like the height we can have control then of the um, wraps that are going to be inside them let's change the thickness up a little bit like so and you've got complete control let's actually take those wraps down a little bit something like this and you can see just how easy that is to use so there you go everyone and i think this is actually a really really good geometry you know because i know um, myself has a lot of problems actually with curtains getting the right look for my curtains and I think this really really solves that problem um, in a lot of ways it's not a hundred percent so you can't use it on a hundred percent of curtains but a vast vast majority of them you can and especially because we've actually also brought in um, this kind of flag geometry node with the curtain geometry node I think adds, adds a lot to it so if you enjoyed that, give us a like and subscribe. And don't forget, if you want to get all of these things for free, I'm going to play our advert now, which is our Patreon advert. Make sure you watch that because it really is one of the best Patreons in the industry. All right, everyone. So I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Hey, everyone. Do you want to have access to hundreds of Blender products every single month? Then check out our brand new Patreon which is probably the best in the industry, especially for beginners to Blender. Best of all, we now have four Patreon levels, 
pretty much for any budget. Or if you just want to follow us over there for the latest news on 3D Tudor, then that's also fine. So let's now take a look at these ranks and stay till the end to find out what we really have to offer. So rank one is all about just supporting us at five euros per month. And this is just to say a big thanks for everything that we do here. Rank two at 10 euros per month comes with a free course every single month. And if you've seen the scenes that we've been creating here on YouTube, where you can get your hands on any of these for absolutely free. And you will get your name featured at the end credits of all of our YouTube videos. Moving on and stepping it up to rank three at 19 euros 50 per month, you get pretty much the same as you did in rank two, but this time we also give you two geometry nodes per month absolutely free. And moving on to the big one, which is rank four, the top tier that we have at 48 euros 50 per month, and you pretty much get the whole shebang. Two free courses per month, any of our geometry nodes, any of our model packs, any of our YouTube themes, but best of all, you also get the complete asset manager file, complete with our entire library of compositors, materials, and assets and this will just keep growing so whatever your budget there's never been a better time to support us here at 3d tudor and i think we provide one of the best patrons in the industry so head on over check out our patreon follow us over there for the latest news and if you can we'd be very grateful for any support large or small